you can use the ellipse command to create isometric circles. Isometric drawings are not three-dimensional, but rather two-dimensional drawings that represent 3D objects. You can create isometric drawings by using the program's isometric grid and snap modes. A circle in an isometric drawing is actually an ellipse created so that it appears to be drawn on the side of an object. Although it looks like a circle, it is actually an ellipse drawn at the proper isometric angle. In traditional board drafting, you would create an isometric drawing using a combination of 30 and 60 degree angles. You can do the same thing by aligning the cursor to the right side, the left side, and the top isometric planes. In order to create an isometric drawing, you should first change the snap type. On the status bar, click the arrow adjacent to the Snap Mode button and choose Snap Settings to display the Snap and Grid tab of the Drafting Settings dialog. In the Snap Type group box, select Grid Snap and then select Isometric Snap. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now the cursor aligns to the isometric planes. The cursor is currently aligned to the top isometric plane. In addition to the change in the appearance of the cursor, in the status bar, the appearance of the isometric drafting tool also changes. And when you move the cursor over this tool, the tooltip clearly indicates the current isoplane, which is currently isoplane top. When you click the isometric drafting tool, you toggle the isometric drafting mode on and off. Click to toggle this off. The cursor is no longer an isometric cursor. Click the arrow adjacent to snap mode and choose snap settings to go back to the drafting settings dialog. In the snap type group box, the grid snap has been set back to rectangular snap. When you toggle the isometric drafting mode using the tool on the status bar, you toggle grid snap between rectangular and isometric snap modes. Select isometric snap and then click OK to close the drafting settings dialog. On the status bar, you can see that isometric drafting is again toggled on. Click the arrow adjacent to the isometric drafting tool to display a menu showing the three isometric planes. The top plane is currently selected. You can use this menu to easily change isometric planes. Select isoplane left. The cursor changes to indicate that it is now set to the left isometric plane. And when you move the cursor over the isometric drafting tool, the tooltip also says isoplane left. You can also press the F5 key to quickly cycle between the three isoplanes. Each time you press F5, the cursor changes to indicate the current isoplane. Switch to the right isoplane. You can either press F5 to cycle to that plane or use the tool on the status bar to select isoplane right. On the status bar, also make sure that snap mode and ortho mode are toggled on. When creating isometric drawings, using ortho mode forces lines to align parallel with the current isometric plane, and using snap mode ensures that you snap to specified snap increments. Now you are ready to create an isometric similar to the one on the left. On the home ribbon, in the draw panel, click the line tool. The program prompts you to specify the first point. Click to pick a point. The program then prompts you to specify the next point. Create four line segments, each three units long, to represent the right side of the object. 
Next, switch to the left isometric plane. Then, start the line command again and draw the left side of the object. This side is 4 units long and 3 units high. End the line command, switch to the top isometric plane, and then start the line command again. Starting in the upper left corner, draw the top of the object. This time, toggle off snap mode and use direct distance entry to draw three lines each 1.5 units long, and then create the final line segment 2.5 units long, and then end the line command. Now you are ready to create an isometric circle. Again, this is not really a circle, but rather an ellipse drawn on an isometric plane. Switch to the right isometric plane. Then, on the home ribbon, in the draw panel, expand the ellipse split button and choose axis end. When you create an ellipse using this method, one of the options is isocircle. Press Escape and then expand the Ellipse Split button and choose Center. The Isocircle option is not available when you use this method. Press Escape and then choose Ellipse Axis End. Then right-click and choose the Isocircle option. The program prompts you to specify the center of the Isocircle. On the status bar, make sure that Object Snap Tracking is toggled on. To center the isocircle on the right side of the object, move the cursor over the midpoint of the bottom right edge until you see the midpoint auto snap marker and tooltip, but do not click. Then move the cursor over the right edge until you again see the midpoint auto snap marker and tooltip. Then move the cursor to the left along the dotted alignment path. The tooltip indicates that you are tracking from the midpoint along a 210 degree alignment, and you can see a plus sign indicating that the program has also acquired the midpoint of the bottom edge. When you reach the point at which the two alignment paths intersect, you see a white X and the tooltip shows both alignment paths. Click to select that point as the center of the isocircle. The program then prompts you to specify the radius of the isocircle. Type 0.5 and press Enter. To draw an isocircle on the left side of the object, switch to the left isometric plane. Then start the ellipse command again. Since the axis end option has floated to the top of the split button, you can simply click the button. Select the isocircle option. Click to specify the center of the isocircle and then specify the radius of the isocircle. Although the objects you just created look three-dimensional, they are not. When you move the cursor over one of the isocircles, you can see that the object you created is actually an ellipse. When you are finished creating isometric drawings, be sure to use the tool on the status bar to toggle off isometric drafting mode, returning the program back to rectangular snap.